My name is William John V. Pop Kwan Wong Sun Coombs, but you can call me Joe for short. I've known Peter and Alan Louch for about six or seven years now. We met in high school. So the truth about Peter and Alan Louch is, I don't think I can do this. I don't, I don't think I can do this. <sighs> can I have some water? Can I just... Can anyone get me some water? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so the truth about Alan and Peter Lounge. That they are some of the best people you'll ever get to meet. Haha, <laughs> roll that intro! You thought, you, you thought this was going to be an entire exposed, cancel, ooh. <laughs> no, no. This is not that video. That video comes later. Okay, for those who don't know, and uh, I don't know how you don't know, but Alan and Peter Louch are some of my two, count them two, favourite people in the world. They are probably some of my best friends that I've ever had the honour to serve with, the privilege to meet. They are great guys, if you don't know them, uh, here's a quick little montage of them right now. And today, today is their birthday, so this is this is the video that we're doing for their birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, guys! Uh, leave in the comments below, happy birthday, the twins, because that's that's all they're known as, the twins. I wish I had a twin. Can I get a twin so I can have <laughs> the title, the twins? No, anyone. So the title of this video technically isn't clickbait. Here is the truth about Alan and Peter Louch. A few facts you may not have known. Fact numero uno is that they uh, both have very different fashion senses, like completely different. While Peter is happy to cozy around all day in his favourite band shirt, shorts and thongs with socks. Yeah, with socks. Alan, on the other hand, does take a little bit of pride in what he wears. Whenever I ask him to hang out just for lunch or just in general, he's always deciding to put on some jeans with holes in them. You know, that's a little bias. <laughs> he always puts on a decent shirt and makes sure that his hair is combed. That's a joke, he doesn't comb his hair because it's too, it's too mangy right now. But he used to put wax in it and product, but it's just they're two very different dress senses. They both work for each individual, but you know, Peter, I gotta respect the band shirts and the shorts, socks and thongs, loving it. Mmm! Okay, fact number two, they are both musically inclined. We all know that Peter plays guitar. We know that he is the musician of the two, but what you may not know is that Aaron used to play keyboard when he was younger. <gasps> Who knew? We could all start a little band. Peter on guitar, Aaron on the keys, and then I can just go. But yeah, that's a little factoid you may not have known. Alan played keyboard. And the only song I think he can still play is Crazy Frog. <laughs> Fact number three is that they both have hearts of gold. 100% two of the loveliest humans I've ever met. They're both so kind and caring and ooh -hoo -hoo. What more can you ask from this person just for them to try their best and always look after everyone around them. They are two of my most favorite people because they care so much about not just me and they, you know, had to look after me a few times because you know somebody here gets emotional 
It's, it's a fact. But I love them both for their hearts of gold and everything that they do. Not for just for me, but for everyone around them. They are brilliant, brilliant people. Lovely. Number four, they both love to party. Like, a lot, like 100%. Aaron, yes. Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. <laughs> no. He's not the party animal. Peter's the party animal. Well, Aaron does spend a lot of time going to parties and you know, having a good time. Some don't pay attention to Peter. Peter, I know you go to parties. I know you like to drink. I know you let loose sometimes. I've seen you let loose sometimes. When Peter lets loose, he lets loose. He dances around, he's singing, he's throwing things, just kissing everyone up in the wazoo and woohoo! Pete, you're crazy. Um, I was just wondering, do you have any funny stories about Peter and Alan? I've been racking my brain in funny stories. I don't know, because I'm too bloody serious. What do we do with funny stories? Just when Peter got pissed on band camp. Oh, yeah. They all snuck alcohol, him and Kim and Ben all... Yes, uh, yeah, that's right. Um, they all got pissed on band camp. They, on the last band camp, they all um, snuck out and bought some alcohol and got pissed before their performances. And oh, that. that's great. When Peter did his last uh, same crew, same crew, Kim and Ben and Peter, um, every Typical. time they did a, um, a music night concert of some sort, like at a church or something like that, they would get a, they would order a hot chili online and then, and they would make them get hotter and hotter. And what was this one called? This one was the, the last one they got, they were near, they were vomiting on. And Peter <laughs> was sweating on stage and nearly passed out. Ooh. Yeah, the world's hottest chili. It's something devil, devil. Devil's oh, breath. God. I don't know what it was called, but it was like, it doesn't sound familiar. It was something, we'd have to, I'd have to get Sinead to sort of have a bit of a look uh, at what one, that one was called. But yeah, every bloody music um, concert they did, they would all dare each other to eat a hot chilli <laughs> and then perform. And the last one they were vomiting. I had to. The Carolina Reaper. The Carolina Reaper, it was called. Ooh. And they ordered it online. It's a really tiny chilli, but they um, they were so they were sick straight after. They were all vomiting. The teachers had to get milk and bread. And then I had to get Aaron to drive um, Kim's car home because he was just, he couldn't drive. <laughs> Things like that. What does Aaron do? A few little things that Aaron did. He had, um, he's had a few split heads, you know, with... Um... Oh, that's true. He split his face open once. Yeah, he did, yeah. So, um, oh, I swiped his chin. You know how he's got, you know how his chin is sort of one side's a bit more longer than the other side of his chin? It's like a bit of a swollen chin on one side. I've noticed that, yeah. Have you ever, you have? Do you know how he did that? No, how did he do <laughs> that? Because it used to be, it used to be level. It used to be the same. But um, when we were in primary school, we used to have, um, school discos all the time where you buy tickets yeah, and course. you know everyone would get dressed up and do their disco and whatever and Aaron just started to just um, drop and do the worm <laughs> and he face planted his chin on the cement floor <laughs> and it just one side just blew up and it's never been the same since it's always been swollen since <laughs> Oh yeah, I think we're up to number six. I'm not even sure anymore. We've lost count. Just could be number six. We don't know. Peter loves the outdoors. He loves camping. He loves mountain biking. Mountain biking? No, just biking in general. He loves riding bikes. He loves spending time outside. While Aaron, on the other hand, may not know this, uh, when he's not working, because as we all know, he works a ton. But when he's not working, he can be found sleeping with his cat, Max. Here's a photo. Love you, buddy. Peter is the older twin. You may know this, you may not know this, but you do now. <laughs> Pete's older by half an hour, almost to the T older than Aaron. And you know what, Pete? You can hold that over his head for the rest of your life. You will always be the twin that forever is just half an hour older than his brother. Also, you might die half an hour earlier, but you know, you are born first. That's a win in my book. Thing number... Seven? Are we up to seven? I'm not sure anymore. Thing number seven, they are both low-key stalkers. Yeah, you probably weren't expecting this one. <laughs> Back before I knew them properly, uh, and before I became friends with both of these wonderful gents, uh, they kind of found out where I lived, came to my house unannounced, uninvited, and just, uh, we hung out. <laughs> we, we, 
we went to the park. I think we rode bikes actually. But the point is, that's stalkers. Be careful out there guys. They, they will hunt you down, come to your house unannounced, uninvited, and be your friend. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the truth about Peter and Aaron, exposed. Seriously though, happy birthday guys. I uh, love you very much. Happy 21st, good job making it to 21. Why do Australians celebrate 21st? Like Americans, they do it because they can drink. Like they, they can go rah, 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 rah. But Australians, we can drink at 18. Why do we celebrate 21? Is it just because we need to do what the Americans do? Somebody please give me an answer. I'm literally sitting here alone. That's a lie. Joe's just sitting over there. Hey Joe. So happy 21st, Peter and Alan. Go and uh, happy birthday in the comments below say happy birthday and they will probably read them i know peter's gonna read them because you know number one fan pete thanks thanks for watching guys this was a really tough video to make just you know it's not every day you get to expose your best mates hit that like button if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you haven't already have a good morning evening or night whenever you're watching this pete whenever you're watching this happy birthday <laughs> see you in the next one